Good morning, peeps. It's me again. <laughs> I'm back out fishing again. Good, good, good. Um, I'm at Broomswell Lakes in the Horseshoe Lake. One of my favourite lakes. I don't mind the other one, but I like this one better. Um, I'm going out a bit further than I did last week. I'm using seven sections of the pole this week. And I'm going to put a method over there a bit later. But I've fed the swims. I've got me gear all set up all around me. So I'm ready to fish. I've got my brawly ready because it's now starting to rain. I thought, well, it's got to be Tuesday because it's now starting to rain. <laughs> I'll catch you hopefully a bit later. Right, I'll just show you where I am. Um, the bush over there, just to the left of it, about there somewhere. It's a job to see it on the camera. Just over there, it's probably, uh, I don't know if that's 20 metres. That's, yeah, it's probably 18 to 20. And the other one, I'm using that tree there because I've got a really dark shadow in the water there so I can't get out of my swim. I'll show you where I'm fishing. I like being down there by that shed when I'm using paste. That's the lake and then it goes around here. There's a big tree beside me here. Next bay over there. And the lake goes all the way around to a horseshoe. That's why it's called Horseshoe Lake. My bait try is very simple. I've just put a few, just a few pots of Red Robin over on that far swim. And I've got my micros soaked in Sensei. It's a bit same old, same old, I must admit. But I've put some micros in the pellets this time. I've put naturals, yellows, whites and blacks and all sorts in there. Just give it a bit of a mixture. Right. The swims have been settling down for the last five minutes. I'll get my feeder rod out and just sit that down there. I'll get to you in a minute, hopefully. Right then, peeps, here we go. I'll try a white Fuka bait first. Woohoo, here we go. I just had a phone call from somebody, so <laughs> slight delay. All right, I'm trying seven sections today. At the end of my elbow at the joint, and just let that in there. The little float I've got on today, as that's very shallow here, it's only about two, two and a half feet deep. As my, you've seen it before on my videos, that's a little dibber. That's the little Preston's little tiny dibber. Only takes about three number eight. And I'll see if there's anything, found anything here on my feed out there. Um, I flicked, as I said earlier, I've now got to put the brawly up so it'll go a bit dark in a minute. It's now starting to rain, so I've got to get it all over my baits and my phones and everything, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just leave this for a couple more minutes and I'll put my brawly up. Isn't that marvellous? That was lovely earlier. Hardly a breath of wind. There's a breeze blowing all over the place now. And uh, it's raining. <laughs> A friend of mine I see yesterday say, oh, you're not fishing tomorrow, it's going to rain. I said, nah, be right. Yeah, right. That's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> Still, I flick some red robins out there, as I just said. Um, and occasionally you get them red robins, there's one or two that don't sink right away. But there was a fish flicked on the top there and took one of those pellets. So there's some fish over there. So I'll just give this another five minutes on this one here. With this little tiny touch then. And I'll go over there with a... I'll put a smaller method feeder on today, I think. Instead of the 32 gram, I'll put the 15 gram one on there. And see how it go. Right. Enough rabble. Let's get on with the fishing. Well, we're in. It's silver. Still, it's only my second put out and I'm in it for silver, so that's all right. <laughs> Oops, missed it. Come on, that's because of the brawly. Yes, yeah, a little skimmer. <laughs> a little skimmer. Hope it's not too dark because of blooming brawly up. Still, that's not a bad start. We're in again with another silver. Today I'm on the 10 to 12 slick. It's a tiny bit bigger skimmer. Right in the top lip, which is good. There he is. 
group, right in the top lip as usual. Good, good. Ooh. And we have another skimmer. I like to call them bream, but let's say skimmer bream then. <laughs> That's a bit bigger one this time, it's just near the landing net. <laughs> the gear is in the way. <laughs> Be a sec. So awkward under a brawly as you know, but well to get there. We got him. Oh dear, everything's falling about. <laughs> Never mind, all the fun of fishing. Alright, mate. Top lip again. A little bit bigger, a bit better size, isn't it? Let's get that there off my hands before I get my land on it. There we go, mate. There you go. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Well, here we are again. Little roach this time. Keep me busy. As you can see, it's horrible rain. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> right, here we are again. I've got a bream this time. It's just, I think, big enough to not call it a skimmer. I've got everybody trying to contact me today. <laughs> I'll better ring her back in a minute as her indoors. Just in the bottom lip. Funny little old bite. And I just <laughs> Let's get the hook out, come on. It's just turned in your lip, mate. I can't quite get it. There it is. There we are, look. It's a bit bigger skimmer. Or bream, I like to call them. <laughs> right. I've got uh, five skimmers now in a roach. I didn't film the other little ones because all this horrible rain again. <laughs> Aha. Aha. This is no bream. As you can hear what's going on here today. <laughs> it's coming in all right, so. It's obviously going to be a carp. As I said earlier, I've got the 10 to 12 slick in here. Matrix slick, which I th as I'm catching smaller fish, that'll handle it all right, but that'll handle good sized carp as well. Lovely, got him. <laughs> Beautiful job. Do you know what? That went so quick, that's unbelievable. All I done was lowered it in, float uprighted, boom, went straight under. And I thought, yeah, it'd be a little roach, take it or something. Can't quite get hold of it. Just inside his lip, just enough so I can't get it. Come here, mate. Let's get him up here a bit better, I said. <laughs> Lovely sized little fishy. Let's come out. Perfect. And our lovely little fish, look. Hoo hoo! Ha ha! Cool, like a little block of ice. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, well, here we are, another roach. Whoop. Still, we're catching in this nasty rain. <laughs> Only a little roach, but that don't matter. It's good. I'm still catching every single fish today I've caught on a 5 mil white fuca. Just pick one out. Hook it on like I always say. Hook it on, you pick it on and peel it round just like you would a pellet. 
and I suppose that's no different to using bread punch or something like that but as that's a white fuca bait as you can see that's what I've had everything on today and anyway if you can't get to Avenue Anglin which is my favorite tackle shop go on the bottom of my video and go where it says see more I'll put the links in all the gear I use today my camera my sound gear if you like and my fuca baits and my pole and all my gear so if you're interested in having a look while that's nasty like this and you can't go fishing <laughs> At least you can have a browse around. All right, let's get out and see if there's some more out there. Just nasty breezes now and again that catch your pole and you sort of fight it because it's bending that way and then suddenly the wind stops and that pull your float. Oh, God, us. <laughs> but there you go. We're mad enough to come in this weather. Well, I am. <laughs> and I'll let you know how I get on in a minute. And another skimmer. You see me go out there and I <laughs> I got a little skimmer on that. Put out. <laughs> Perfect. Keep me busy. What's that? Uh, five bream. Well, one bream, four skimmers, and two roach and a carp. Brilliant. Keep me busy. <laughs> Here we are again. Another little tiny skimmer. <laughs> tiny little things. Didn't have fight though for a little old skimmer. This one was a flying skimmer. <laughs> when I hooked it, it, jumped out and it flicked it around like a dolphin. <laughs> Not very big, but he did it. <laughs> Should have been ahead to film on, then you'd have seen that. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> God, us <is> foul. <laughs> well, peeps. <laughs> I just put the brawly right down like this. Just to have a sandwich and a cup of oxo, and now look at it. <laughs> I'll stick it a bit longer. I'm having to hang on to the brawly. Well, keep my arm round it anyway. I, I can't go because I've got my bracket. But <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. That must be a Tuesday, as I said before. <laughs> I'll stick it a little bit longer, and I'll catch you in a bit, hopefully. Well, here we are again. <laughs> Another little skimmer. <laughs> Horrible. Oh. Well, we're still catching, look. <laughs> that's horrible. At least that's not freezing cold. Trouble is, that's another really small skimmer. <laughs> They're not very big, but at least I'm catching. Oh, was that six, seven skimmers and a carp? I'd like another carp. Oh, that's no bream or skimmer. I think that's obviously another carp. Done the same as I did last Thursday. Just every other put out, just put a little cad pot of those pellets out with all the fuga baits in it and the sensate. And hopefully, a bit of luck and a mega back wind, there's another carp on here. There's something on the end like this that make you f just forget about the rain at the moment. Just for the last five minutes or so, the wind has eased a little, not much. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Haven't seen it yet. Water is not too clear. It's got a little bit of colour to it, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh, 
Nice fight though. Oh, lovely old jubbly. <laughs> Come on, my little beauty. Oh, that blast of wind, that's a pain, that is. That's a nice common. Lovely. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, 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 no. Don't you go under that net. Bloody thing. Uh, come on, little fella. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Lovely old jubbly. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Where's the hook gone? Just in the bottom lip there. Absolutely brilliant on them white five mil Fugas. Lovely. Come on. Let me show you to lovely peeps if I can get us. Okay, that's it, just right. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's gone. Good. Right, let's get a good view of him for you, lovely peeps. Sitting there in the warm, hopefully. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that a booty? <laughs> in the foul weather, another block of ice. <laughs> Beautiful job. What is that? Six pound? Beautiful. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, we're in again with another skimmer. Another little skimmer and the brawl is down. How long for? I don't know. And the wind has eased off. Just a little. <laughs> That's what, seven skimmers now. Still got the bait on, look. Woohoo! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's get out again. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's, the wind has got up again even more, but at least the rain has stopped just for a little while. For how long for, I do not know, but of course that didn't half come down a little while ago. I had a couple of skimmers while that was on, but I didn't bother showing you those little old skimmers, but one of them went, I think I show you that one, it went like a dolphin, that, pshum, pshum, that was all over the place, I thought that was a good roach, but it's now starting to drizzle again now, so I expect the brawly will go up again in a minute. Must be mad. No, actually, I've, I've had some nice fun today, actually, it's been good. Like I say, about seven skims, well, one is a decent bream, that's, that's good two, two and a bit pound. For them two carp, that was worth that, just for those two. Just had a chat with the owner. He comes round, oh, look at the wind do that to your bowl. I really, when I feed, I should take a cad pot off, that would help a little bit with the wind, but there you are, right. 
hopefully catch up with you again if I catch another one. Here we are with another skimmer and the Broly's down at last. <laughs> Low skimmer. <laughs> Perfect. Lisa stopped raining for a bit. <laughs> See what we can catch now. That's not raining. Here we are again. That's not a skimmer. Could this be the third carp? Feel heavy, but that's not pulling much. Oh, here it go. <laughs> Since I get it near, I expect that will. A nice little carp, a little, nice little common carp. Well, he's not pulling very hard. I suspect he will now he's through the net. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That's much better without the brawly up in it. Yeah, just hooked in the side of the lid there. That tripod has been there all morning, that's now blew over. <laughs> I wanted to do some different shots today, but weather won't let me. How's that? Hoo -hoo, lovely little thing. You're a bit cold, mate. <laughs> and another skimmer. Slightly bigger. Only slightly. <laughs> lovely. We are again, another little one. Yeah, another little skimmer. <laughs> Where are your big mates? Where's your mum and dad? <laughs> I weren't going to show you this one, but that was a roach. I thought that was another little skimmer. That's a little roach. <laughs> Lovely old jubbly. As you can see, the brawl is back up again. <laughs> Heavy drizzle. I've got another nice one on here. Oh, would you believe it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a tinge. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> you wouldn't thought you'd get a tinge this time of year. I'll just give a bit more feed out there and, well, that's brought a tinge in. <laughs> Hook has come out in the net. There we are. He's only a bubby, but he's a tinge. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> You're gonna sit still for me for a second, mate? Oh, I don't expect so, do you? No, <laughs> he's so slippery. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate, let me just show you off look, so people can see that lovely little tinge. Look at that, he's like an eel. <laughs> <laughs> lovely little tinge. <laughs> Do well, I'm pleased with that. <laughs> Lovely little red eye. Thank you for that, mate. Got all your fins up, you're royal as anything. Sorry, spoil your day. <laughs> Do well, nicely, I'm chuffed with that. <laughs> you wouldn't think of it, would you, catching tench in the winter? <laughs> Lovely. Didn't think that was a skimmer. We're in again. Straight after that tench, look. Oh, it's a lovely little common carp. <laughs> oh, he's a chubby common carp too. <laughs> right in the top lip. Yeah, he's a little common carp. I thought for a minute that was an F1. He's got barbels, little barbels. Now what about that then? I'm going to have that. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I'm going to call this my last fish. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> bye bye for now. I'll catch you again. Ooh. <laughs>